This week I had to build a giant test tube. So I left a lot of people hanging last week. I had three bits of news, two of them came in. One of them was that this old house came and we taped two segments for the show, Ask This Old House. It's gonna air on the next season. It's gonna start sometime in October and my two segments are gonna be somewhere in that season. I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute. The other thing is that Kyle Stumpenhorst came and he started work on the building. That's also gonna be later in the vlog. So those are the two of three big pieces of news. The third one, still no news. I mentioned I'm working on some props for a pop-up shop. Oh, it's a tongue twister. The Gold Bricks video is out. The test tube is another part of this project. There's two more builds that go along with this project. Those videos are gonna be out. Down the road. These props are for a product called Spray Ground. They're having a pop-up shop here in New York City. And I'm making some decorations for the shop. Finally got Rockla episode four just about done. Thank God. I bit off more than I could chew this time around. Next project's gonna be another sewing box, I think. This video's in the can. Very often in my email, I am offered cool machines, and this is another one. I cannot take it because of the logistics, but this is a 1940s, 50s Chandler and Price printing press. It is available in Wisconsin. If anybody's interested, contact me, and I'll get you in touch with the owner. Apparently, it's gonna go for cheap. Shout out to my friends at Carolina Boots. Guys, thank you for the gifts. It's much appreciated. This was a big week for me. This old house came out to shoot two segments and Kyle was here to work on the building. Kevin spent the night at the house. The whole crew came, we had a big feast. Kyle was there, Kyle's buddy Greg was there. We had a great couple of days. Here's me and Kevin working on segments for Ask This Old House. Have you had fun so far? I've had fun. Learned a couple things. Seen the man on the bandsaw. Woo! Fast, accurate, good vibe. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Look at this. Uh, Look at this thing right here, huh? Logo. A little sweet. A little two projects we got going. Last night, it's like a corner over there, and you walk in the poop, the corner there, somebody's laying eggs there. 
I put my hand up and I went under the VCA, but the bottom black rooster just went back. Remember a while back I had a fundraiser to raise money for the maker, Mecca? Well, it is underway. Kyle's thumping horse came and he broke ground. There's no turning back. Thank you to everybody that supported this project and continues to support this project by supporting me on Patreon. Every month I'm posting videos on Patreon with voiceovers. I have exclusive conversations with the audience, people that want to see and know my process. It's all on Patreon. If you want to support me, it's only a dollar a month at the very minimum. Thank you all very much for the love and support. Very excited about this. It's it's really a dream come true. If you don't know Tony Ralu, you should check out his channel, Hillview Metal and Wood. Tony had his annual slip and slide party this weekend. We went to it and I got a chance to check out his shop up close. Here's a conversation with Tony Ralu. I'm Tony Ruhl from Hellview Wood and Metal, and I am a part-time woodworker, tool maker, and a full-time machinist. My grandfather had a running dairy farm for 60 years, and uh, I got a piece of land, and that's what I built my house on. And John Berard of MakerCast kind of challenged me and said, we're doing a giveaway. Oh, that was and your first one? That was the first one. Oh, shit. And, like... and of course, he said to me, he goes, oh, well, Jimmy Duresta's doing stuff, and Mark Spagnolo and all this, and I was terrified, and I knew I had to up my game. Oh, so. my God. I thought, like, you'd nope. been making them your whole life. <laughs> so <laughs> I made I the that. first one, and Mark Schaefermeyer won that one. It drummed up a lot of interest, and I made a set, and I sold one to Jay Bates, actually. Right. And he did a video on it, and it just kind of... How many have you made now? I've got, I've made 17 total, and I've got 30 to 40 pre-orders, and then there's I another won. waiting list of 40 to 50 people on top of that. <laughs> wow, so you so, got a tool company now. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. This is a, a, an, a brass inlay double square that I did. I do a, a 6 inch and a 12 inch, or a 300 millimeter for metric guys. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, this is brass with a cocoa bowl inlay. Right on. And, and how do you? Uh, this is always gets me nuts. The the inlay is exactly right. Well, is it is it just the outside and inside of a vector cut? Pretty much. And what I do is 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 I can tell the mill it's a little bit smaller, so it'll cut a little bit right. uh, closer or right. farther in, so then I can get that fit perfect. You could tweak it by by hundred thousandths of an inch. Yeah, it's called cutter comp, and you can adjust the oh. how many thousandths of an inch you adjust that. That so like if I'm looking at, for instance, infusion, it's like how much to leave on or how much to take off. You can do that. And then depending on how sophisticated your CNC is, you can do it sometimes on the control. So that that would be like uh, leave material on the radial. Yes, exactly. Right. Okay. So you're that. learning. Or you can take some. Yeah, you're it. <laughs> I'm learning. But that, well, that, if you want to take some, you would put a negative. Yes. A yep. negative dot. Dot. Yep. And usually dot. it's on the side. So you know, getting into nerd territory, machinist nerd territory, but if you take two thousandths, your square or your box or your circle will be four thousandths too big because it's two thou on a side. It's like the dial indicators on a on a south bend. It's either how much is coming off or how deep the cut is. Yeah. Right? Yep. So you got to know what you're doing when you get those machines. But sometimes you dial it in and it's, it's taking twice as much It's off. indirect or direct. Is that what it's That's called? That's what's the difference. Oh, and cool. direct is you take 20 thou, you're taking 20 thou. Indirect. I could have it backwards because there, there's not many lathes around anymore that have that. Usually the older lathes, if you take 20 thousandths of an inch, you're really taking 40 thousandths of an inch off the diameter. Right. I just keep thinking of ideas. Uh, I've had guys give me ideas. I think I'm going to do a bevel next, like a oh, T-bevel. Right. Oh, sure. Yeah. You know, um, and I have had guys push me to make larger planes, right. but that's a whole territory yep. unto itself what was your inspiration as far as this design goes i mean because it looks obviously quite classic i love the infill the wood infill planes right. and i never really saw a block plane um Captain. sour and steiner make a, a block plane 
that's that's an infill but not the style and i love the 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 metal dovetails is that your style personally oh it's it's the the old infill planes use dovetails and what they would do is is they would leave them proud and they would peen them over oh and to then, keep them together and flatten them yeah and this i was able to use the cnc and i can just Comp the mill a little big, and it's like a one thousandth interference fit. So when I press it together, oh, it you just press it together on a hydraulic or a jack? Just, just a, a machinist vice, so it stays nice and square. Oh, and then I beautiful. just finish everything to where it's perfectly it's smooth cool. and flush, yeah. and I surface grind the bottom. Wow! And then so. you one thing, the one thing that's real beautiful is each time you make something for somebody, you have to put their logo right there. Yeah, I've tried to do that, and then on the inside. I, this has the information oh, and the serial beautiful. number. I try, I've been trying to serialize everything. That's beautiful. Very nice. And this is Rev 2 because the first one, this cap iron, was slightly different Very cool. from the original. And I, I made a few small changes. Nice. So. Oh, I see how that hooks over so you don't yeah. see the bar. So you don't see. That was the first one. The original one went under the pin. Is that your idea? Yes. Because that's that's yep. a, a really nice solution. And it kind of it, it makes the lines flow. I feel the lines flow a little better. Totally. Beautiful. So. Wow. And this thing is the one thing I found it has strengths on is shaving end grain. Nice, because like it's, it's got some really light. good for end grain work. It seems like it has some momentum to it. But... Yes, that's the thing is yeah. people comment about the weight. Maybe you'll get a couple more orders. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Any you want to say anything to the YouTube bro? Uh, one four three. <laughs> that's great. There were a few other YouTubers at the party. I got to see my buddy Josh again. Josh is now a full time mobile maker. Tell everybody who you are and what you make. My name is Josh Price. I'm with the PI Workshop. I make all kinds of stuff out of my mobile uh, workshop in and my fifth wheel RV. How long have you been mobile now? traveling full-time for a little over a month, but we've been living in it as it is for about a year. Now, we had a, a really big house and a really fancy neighborhood and a job and that... And we have a hedgehog. <laughs> and we have... <laughs> yeah, and a job that I couldn't stand to pay for all the giant things, and my wife said she wanted to travel, so she convinced me to move into this RV, and we got one that has, like, a big extra space in the back that I can put my workshop, and I can still do almost everything, but I can still do what I want to do, and I can scratch that itch anywhere we are. Right on. So it was just a matter of just simplifying your life and just... Yeah, you have too seat. much stuff. Like if you look around, you have... I mean, I'm talking to Jimmy Dresta here. But like, <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Like, you have like too much stuff in your life. And she pointed out that we had way too much and we didn't need it. And it was a lot of work to upkeep. So we simplified a lot. And now we have the freedom to go wherever we want to go. I mean, I got a call from Tony. He's like, hey, you want to go to a slip and slide party <laughs> in upstate New York? And I'm like, sure. Right on. I can bring my house though. That's great. <laughs> How far will you go and when do you decide maybe you'll settle down? Uh, we're leaving that open-ended. Right. I mean, we have enough saved up where we don't have to work for almost a year. So this can last as long as it can. I mean, if I can keep making stuff on the road and uh, I can teach on the road, like there's things that we can do to supplement income, but uh, right. we want to open a maker space. So we've been traveling around the country to different maker spaces, meeting different makers. Right. So surreptitiously you're collecting information. Yeah. It's, it's a big like research trip. Yeah. That's so great. that I can learn from best practices across the board right. so that whenever we open a space, I don't screw up for five or six months on something mm -hmm. someone else already screwed up on. So do you feel like moving to upstate New York? Upstate New York is beautiful. I'm a Florida boy, right? So right. upstate New York is beautiful. It's not snowing outside, but yeah, no. as it is right now, there's no bugs. It's gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous, right? The, the rolling hills. That's yeah. why it's called Hillview Metal and Wood here. It's the Hillview. Yeah. Well, good luck with everything, Josh. Thanks, buddy. Good to see you here. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know I was going to see you. So. Yeah. Pleasant surprise. Yeah, Jimmy Dress in my house. Yeah. <laughs> guys, thank you all very much for the love and support. Thank you to this old house. Had such a great time with those guys. Kyle, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Maybe next week I'll have some more news. Who knows? This week one of the chickens got cut under the ribs and Taylor actually performed surgery on the kitchen table to stitch it shut. She's my hero.